So far, we've only talked about reading and organizing mail. Now it's time to start writing some email. To create a new email message, make sure you're in the mail part of Outlook, and from the home ribbon, choose new email. This brings up a blank email. Now the first thing that we need to do is decide who the email is going to be from. If I have more than one Outlook email account set up, I can click the drop down and choose which one I want it sent from. After that, I can come down to the to field and just start typing if I'm sending it to somebody who's already in my address book, or if I know a different email address completely. I can also click the to button and it'll bring up all my address books that I can choose from this way. For example, this is my exchange address book and I can highlight a name and click to if I want to add them to the to list or any other field such as carbon copy so they get a copy of the email. I can use the pull down menu in the address book and choose from my local contacts. When I'm all done addressing my email, I can click OK. As you can see, I've accidentally put the same email in here twice, so all I have to do is hit the delete key and it removes the email from the to list. I can then add more people as I want to. Or if I decide not to, just hit the X and it'll get out of that screen. Now, I can come down here and type a subject for my email. I can put the cursor in the body field and simply start typing the body of my email. I can also attach a file by coming up to the ribbon on the message field and choosing attach file. This brings up the browse dialog that you're probably familiar with. It's the same one that you see when you save a file or open a file. So I'm going to go ahead and browse to my documents, choose a file and click insert. Now at this point, if I was ready to go, I could simply click send and my email would send. However, if I want to save the email or just delete it entirely, I can come up here to the top right and just hit the X. I'm given two options. Do I want to save it or not? If I select no, the email is deleted and it's like it never was. If I hit yes, the email gets saved to my drafts folder so I can continue working on it anytime I want. In the folder list over here on the left is where I'll find my drafts folder. I can click on it, find my email, double click on it, and it brings it back up just like it was. I can continue working on it as normal. The last thing I can do is check it for spelling before I send it. I'm going to go to the review tab and choose spelling and grammar. It's going to do a quick spell check on my document and I can click OK when it's done. Now all I have to do is hit send and off my email goes. If I want to see it, I can simply go to my sent items in my folder list and the email will appear as soon as it gets sent. This way I'll know that it really got sent out. Once the email appears in my folder list, I knew it got sent out correctly. So that was the most basic steps to create a mail message. We're going to talk about how to format it to make it look really pretty in a later video.